Hey guys, welcome to another video. My name is Adrian Adventures, where today I will be reviewing, or at least <laughs> talking about, the movie Last of the Grads, where a class of graduating high school seniors nearing the crossroads of their lives celebrate their last night together at the annual school lock-in. They never could have guessed that they were about to encounter the harbinger of death, the legendary coast-to-coast -coast killer. The reason I chose this movie to talk about is because it has one special person in it. Can you guess who it is? Moist Critical. Moist Critical is in the movie. He has a, is a small role, I've heard, and that's why I'm watching the movie. And I can't, like, bring myself to watch any of the other movies that I have on my list right now. So this is gonna, like, ease me into it. Apparently, Hugbees is, is in the movie. I did not know that. Um, the movie it was almost, like, on a line between serious and uh, humorous. And I think it leans more on the humor side. Uh, which is kind of disappointing. Just a little bit, because I expected it to be, like, a, a, a horror movie. <laughs> you know, but there was no horror, there's no suspension really. Uh, but it was mostly like a comedy. It was kind of like making fun of Thor movies, really. I wonder if Moist Critical had written his own lines, because it definitely sounds like he he's done that. It definitely sounds like stuff he would say. Or if he made like a normal video, he would say the lines that that his character, Officer Greg, would say. The acting for the characters are off, and both the camera and the audio sound like they're like one step away from being filmed on the worst camera and microphone ever. Steve, the love interest, walked the protagonist Emma home, and then she realizes that his home is nowhere near the path of her home, which is perceived as romantic, but it's very creepy actually. And Steve was definitely on my radar, but he was uh, actually just a red herring. A really good one. Maybe I'm just a, 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 a maybe I'm just dumb, but, but I really thought he was gonna be the killer. It was just super obvious. And somehow, like her best friend, instantly knows that that Steve walked Emma home, despite it the scene literally happening one minute ago and it wasn't even a time skip either we see the exact events happen right after the other it's insane and the lock-in looks more like a prom than a, a lock-in there's no blankets or pillows in sight and the phone policy like the no phone policy makes no sense i think that's just for like plot convenience unfortunately Cause I've been in a lock-in before, and you're allowed to use a phone, so I don't know what's going on there. The killer is is weird because he has like supernatural strength, like a Jason Voorhees strength and durability, and yet he's like unable to take down Emma. Like she even gets a stab in too. It's insane. There's this bully archetype character named Dirk, and there's like this drunk girl who like hits on him. Uh, but then once he realizes that he uh, she is drunk, he sits her on a bench and tells her to like sleep there for a while instead of like taking taking advantage of her. I was like, oh wow, this guy's honor of an honorable bully all of a sudden. <laughs> even though he was like even there just to pull the fire alarm at the lock-in and broke into school property technically, it's crazy. The Donnie Darko looking motherfucker, the killer. <laughs> Uh, was chasing Emma for so long and she doesn't even call for help. She doesn't even go to the gymnasium where everyone is and uh, There's like one scene where the Donnie Donnie Darko looking motherfucker just stands there right next to her until she notices him like he's he hasn't done that with any other Character he, he just straight up take kills them but, uh, for some reason I was different <laughs> She did have like a badass one-liner though, when uh, she like used the lighter to, to burn the Donnie, Donnie Darko motherfucker, and I think that was pretty good, honestly. It was pretty funny. I think if they added a jump scare during a scene where 
Emma was having like some sort of uh, weird um, hallucination scene where all the dead characters are, are like standing next to her and talking to her and she's like under a spotlight. I think if there was a jump scare with the Donnie, Donnie Darko motherfucker just standing right close to her at some point I would have I would have actually died. I'm horrible at horror movies but this one was a was an easy one to uh, not get scared of. It was a fun movie though, um, 6.8 out of 10.